Hello everyone. Today's topic is about anxiety, worry, shyness, fear. But before to give you the tips and tricks on how can you help your child, I would like to speak a little bit of these uh, feelings. So shyness, it is normal in children. All kids get anxious about something. In fact, anxiety, it is a normal response to something dangerous or uh, stressful. It becomes problematic when it prevents us from doing the activities that we love, from doing the normal um, everyday activities that we have to do. So one, it will be going to school. Some children don't like to go to school. Before to give you the tips, I would like you to remember that it takes time. So be patient. And the key is repetition. Remember that your child is overwhelmed. Your child is scared. So every time when he reacts the way that he reacts, it doesn't mean that he has a bad behavior. Your child needs you to support him. Because if you don't support him in those tough situations, what is going to happen? Your child will turn away from you and he will start uh, sharing his fears, his thoughts with you. And this can cause to health problem. So the first tip on how can you help your child is to teach your child to be a detective. After he has been afraid of trying something new, you can teach your child to ask these questions or write these questions. Why I was so scared to do it? What could happen? If something bad was happening, how could I handle it? Or how could I fix it? The second one is to teach your child to watch others, to see how others react when they face a new experience. This will trigger his mind and it will stop focusing on his worries. So let's say you want your child to start a new sport, going to swim. You can say to your child to watch the others, how the others react because um, it's going to be something new for the other children as well. So watch them, if they are scared, if they are happy. The third one is to teach your child about self-respect and uh, respect others. Teach your child that it's not nice when someone is asking you how are you or what's your name, to not watch that person eye. Another one is to create a character that personalizes the child's worries. So kids love stories and stories are a great um, healing. So every time when your child is, um, if your child is worried often, you can create an imaginary character like uh, Mr. Worry or whatever you want to name it. And explain to your child that Mr. Worries is coming sometimes to us uh, to scare us and to make us feel helpless. But every time when Mr. Worries is coming, the child can come to you and speak with you about his worries. And when the child is coming to you, try to speak less and listen more. Another one is to explain the child that the fear it is something normal. It is a response to something dangerous or stressful. And it's not something that you should be, be ashamed of. Every time when my child is worried about something new, the, to try something new, I always try to remember some situations when I was afraid and he loves this part. He loves to hear how I was uh, able to go for it even if I was afraid. Because we parents are our children heroes. We, we are the trusted advisors. And the children copy us. So this is very important to express your worries of course, not those big, big ones like about money. Your fears with your child. He needs to see that you are afraid as well. This is something normal. So these are my tips and tricks on how can you help your child. If you have any other ideas, please write me your ideas. Or 
Tell me what do you think about the ideas that I just gave you. Till then, wish you all a lovely day.